played up ahead for Miller. Miller trying to get it across to Grandberg. That's intercepted. And now it's Eric Miller with it again. Centering pass. Loskowski walks in, goes to the deke, and he shot it over top of the net. Not sure if Martin got a piece of that or not. Waiting for it there is Capti, but Lubson runs him into the far boards, and the puck squirts loose, and McAdam's got a break with Zimmer, a two-on-one. Here's McAdam. He's going to come in all himself. He shoots. Saved by Mark. That's blocked. He gets the puck back. Now plays it to Brock off at the left point. He'll shovel it towards the front of the net. Here's Stewart a shot, and they score! Grayson Stewart with a nifty move in front of Martin and delivers the backhand goal behind the Calgary netminder and the Kodiaks get the first one and lead it by a score of one to nothing. He'll slide it to Laskowski, he's got a break. Here's Cody Laskowski on the breakaway, walks in, goes to the deke and scores! Well, I'll make no mistake, Cody Laskowski, when you give him that much time, is likely going to score score that goal just about every time. And Laskowski takes the feed from Miller. And, and the Kodiaks have a couple of goals here with 12-16 to go and lead this one by a score of 2 to nothing. Laskowski, team leading 16 goal, goal of the season. And a team noted for slow marks has got, has got a fast one here tonight. Here's Loves now on the right wing, right wing side. Turns in the corner. Michael Loves it. Shovels it back. Oh, now we got a scrap. Zimmer. Zimmer and, and uh, I think that's Max Mazur. Sir. Zimmer throwing a right. Mazur hit with a right. Zimmer a right. Now another shot. Mazur and Zimmer just throwing rights into the faceoff circle. Benoit, but he can get it out. It's now, now by Fraser. Griffin Fraser shuts. Scores! Seeing eyes for, for Griffin Fra Fraser. And the Cody Kodiaks needed by a score of three to nothing. Uh, sometimes Kodiaks were all over that or that puck and couldn't bang it in. And Stu gets it, gets it and is able to pick corner. Low glove side on Carton. And Fraser, sixth goal of the season. Kodiaks have three in this first period. Lead it by a score of three nothing with 137 to go in period number one. Now Miller in the corner. Eric Miller to Laskowski. Laskowski turns, still with the puck, slides it to Miller. Miller back to Laskowski behind the net. Brock's in front of it. Here's Laskowski waiting. Now to Carrillo. Carrillo, shot, scores! Carson Carrillo with a top shelf shot that beats Connor Martin and the Kodiaks get a power play goal here early and lead this one by a score of four to nothing. And the Kodiaks have opened up a four nothing advantage. And now penalty coming up to the Canucks. Here's McAdam centered and it's knocked away. And they'll go right back on the man advantage. It's going to be a holding call here. After the pass here to Benoit, trying to break free, and diving was Davis and knocked the puck away from Benoit, who might have had a shorthanded break. And then Brock off with a big hit in the corner, and a late call from the referee as Lane Brock off with a big hit. Another candidate for Tollfield Autobody Crunch of the game. And that was one of those where Brockoff, so strong, the big hit in the corner, the referee did not have his arm up until the Canuck player lay on the ice. And uh, five seconds left in the power play. Here's Zolotti. Zolotti moves in. Hit there by Davison. Knocked over and a big hit there by Brennan Davis. And another candidate for Tofield Auto, but he crunched the game. Not Stewart. Flips it ahead and grabbed eventually there by Connor Brock. He gets it to Fraser. It's a three on one. Fraser to Stewart. Stewart across to Brock. He can't shoot. He does. He scores. Well, Connor Brock couldn't shoot it the first time. He couldn't find it, but he was able to stick with it and found it the second time and put it behind Martin as it turned into a three-on-one with Griffin Fraser and Grayson Stewart and the pass across to Connor Brock. And he puts it behind Martin to make it 5-0. have been 
fantastic in the face-off circle. Here's Svensson now, down the right wing side. Svensson around the defense, walks in, shot, scores! That will be number nine, Cole Svensson with the individual effort and was able to deke by Tisdale. Now the problem for the Kodiaks, it was Cody Laskowski who was left back on the fence. And that allowed Svensson to get around the forward and put the puck by Tisdale. And the Canucks strike and make it five to one. With the goal, his first of the season, unassisted. To make it 5-1, now a penalty's coming up. And who are they getting? Looks like Newell. High sticking the call against Jared Newell. Lofton, and now McAdam could have a break. Here's Cam McAdam, short handed breakaway. McAdam walks and shoots, and a stop made there by Martin. Lofton, now Carrillo with the puck. He'll shoot it in. Now Grayson Stewart is after the puck in the corner. Aiello with it, tied up there by Loveson. Stewart comes up with the puck behind the net, centered it, and it goes off Clark, and he'll play it around the boards. It'll be kept in by Carrillo, right point. He'll shoot, that deflects. Big rebound, comes to Laskowski, centered it. Loveson couldn't handle the pass. It was about three feet high. Rebound shot, saved by Kendall, and a blocker save. A shot by Kendall, blocker save by Martin. Now Laskowski after the puck in the corner. He turns, tugged at, no call right in front of the referee. My goodness, here's Kendall, comes up front, scores! Jacob Kendall with point number 20 in game number 20 in his career against the Calgary Canucks. And the Kodiaks make it 6-1. to one. Shopped it wide. As Carr is down in the faceoff circle, can't get up. Shot by Laskowski. Oh, he's hammered from behind by Dylan Clark. That has got to be a penalty. Cross checking will be the call. Should be a hit from behind. As Dylan Clark just nailed Cody Laskowski from behind at the faceoff circle. And Laskowski is throwing darts with his eyes at Dylan Clark. Clark, wide of the net, open four after the puck, gets away from him, Brenton able to clear it out and down the ice and the race for the puck again, here's Alex Heal, down the right wing side, Heal now, across to Byer, shot, save, no, it got through Tisdale, they score. Short-handed goal for the Canucks with 23.6 seconds left. I thought Tisdale had made the stop, but it just squeaked through him. And Byers will get credit for the goal. The Canucks get a shorthanded one. And for Byers, that will be his uh, third goal of the season. And it makes it 6-2. Seven seconds to go on the power play. Shot right through. Oh, that hit uh, Gow, I believe, up around the mouth. A shot from Kendall. And there's a, another penalty coming up to the Canucks. Turns, lays it in for Newell. Newell backhands it for Timmerman. Timmerman centered it. Knocked away from Loveson. Back to Newell. Newell plays it in for Timmerman. Tried to get it to McAdam. Here's Cam McAdam now. He'll shovel it back for Timmerman. Timmerman in the corner. Spins away. Now back the other way again. Timmerman still with the puck. Coming in as Condor. Can't, they score! Was watching Condor slip in from the left point. The puck did not get to him, but I think it was batted in off a Canuck player perhaps. And in behind, Connor Martin looks like McAdam might get credit for it. And that comes 4.32 into this third period, and the Kodiaks have put up a seven spot. They lead it now 7-2. Saturday, although the Dragons may have another one before then, a penalty coming up to the Kodiaks. There's a shot. What a save by Tisdale! In. Now tied up. Now knocked down by Brockhoff. Oh my goodness, they're going to call that a penalty. 
Well, Abe Brockoff is having a tough night when it comes to hits and penalties. Condor has the back of the way. He comes. Here's Blake Condor. Down the right wing side. A pass to Kendall. Kendall with a break. Coming in. Backhand shot. Stop. And no penalty. After it against Chu. Comes up with it. Centers it. And that's knocked away. Here's Brockoff walking in. Fires a shot. Stop by Anderson. And he'll hang on to it. Or Connor Martin, I should say. As Brockoff was able to skate in and tee that one up and fired it. And now we got some penalties coming up. Or one. Gao going for slashing. Trying to move it across. Can't. Brock intercepts it. Here's Connor Brock now to Fraser. Fraser walks in. Fraser still with it. Shoots. Save by Martin. Rebound rolls towards the empty net. And that's cleared away. He'll get it to Kincaid. Now Zolotti comes out in front. Buck knocked away. There's a shot saved by Tisdale, the left pad. Buzzer about to sound, and the Kodiaks with a big 7-2 win over the Canucks. The post-game show coming up. You're listening to Wild Rose Co-op Kodiaks Hockey on New Country 98.1 FM and online at newcountry981.com.